Good light. Today's date is October 23rd, 2022. So today's video should be a rather short one on how to make your very own black scrying mirror. Now, after watching a few videos on how to do this, I found a rather quick way to do it. And that would be just to simply buy an acrylic photo frame and some black construction paper. So as you can see, all you really do is slip the piece of, or sheet of black construction paper into the acrylic frame and voila, there's your black scrying mirror. Some of these videos had people going out to buy expensive frames and buying acrylic black paint, paintbrush, you have to paint the glass black, and then you have to wait for it to dry out. I just think that process is a little too time consuming. So, before I go into scrying mirrors, check out my really rudimentary altar setup. I've got a statue of Raw right here to the left, and underneath him is red calcite and a Vogel quartz crystal wrapped in copper wire. There's a little small rose quartz pyramid crystal. Got my frequency forks there. Got some handmade wands also wrapped in copper wiring with crystals at each end. And yeah, it's made from a tree branch. Well, both of them are. I've got a cup here full of amethyst crystals, some coins. I had water in there, but the water evaporated. It was a money spell I was doing. And behind there, I've got some sage sitting on top of an abalone shell. Very small one. And then of course there's the acrylic frame, which I use as a black scrying mirror. Uh, I'm not using ink, I'm using chalk marker. It's easy to wipe off. And as you can see, I was performing a form of chaos magic. Um, did the money spell work? No, it didn't. And as for scrying, I've never really noticed any visuals. What I mean, I didn't see any pictures of some demons <laughs> waving back at me. Um, what I do know is it helps me uh, get into a trance state better. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with John Dee, who was a courtier of Queen Elizabeth I in the 16th century. A lot of people think that he invented scrying, but he actually didn't. According to some website, I think it was lifescience.com, uh, they were examining carefully the scrying mirror that John D had, and they found that it was made of black obsidian. They traced it back to Mexico, all the way back to the Aztec Empire. So he must have somehow procured this from a traveler, European traveler, who had gone to the Americas. Now, from what I've heard is that the Aztecs, the Olmecs, Mayans, they would probably use reflective surfaces such as black obsidian or even water for astral projection. What I do know is that mirrors and glass are a service, some sort of portal. So what I do is I use this more as a technique for lucid dreaming, for ex like a, what you would call a reality check. So before I go to bed, I'll go into a deep trance looking at the uh, black construction paper. <laughs> and um, just get really in the zone. And hopefully in the dream state, I will dream about... Um, some sort of reflective service and then hopefully I'll have that aha moment and then become lucid and realize that I'm dreaming so could that be how Aztecs used it I don't know but one thing I would advise is not to use 
electronic devices such as this. Black screens for, I should say, sorry, black screens of computers, uh, smartphones, any sort of electronic device. Because this is going to really open portals to dark things. More specifically, AI. However, if for some reason you're in a room and you have a black screen, especially one that's electronic, I think there is a way that may help you to block whatever it is that would come from such a portal. I had this one experience where I had a glass of water um, I left sitting on the floor, which was between my bed and my this very computer screen. And I had unintentionally astral projected. And when I came out, I heard a voice projecting from the screen, but it seemed as though the water was blocking it. What I mean is, the sound couldn't quite pass the water barrier. Maybe the water was absorbing it. It sounded quite muffled and just chopped up. But then again, I could be wrong. I haven't really replicated that experiment. So that's about it for now. So yeah, just if you want a black screen mirror, just go to a store, buy an acrylic photo frame and some black construction paper.